everyone and welcome back to another unboxing of Boxy Charm. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Um, like I told you guys in my previous video, uh, my Boxy Premium arrived before my Boxy Base. My Boxy Base box, I think that's what you say, or the regular box for Boxy Charm. And last night it came. Um, so I'm super excited that I'll be opening with you guys. Now this is the $25 month subscription, but with I don't know, I think it's taxes. It comes out to 28 some change. So I'm super excited. Like I said, I, I am subscribed to all three boxes. And from what I saw, my premium box, which I, I think was kind of weird for the month of February. I wasn't, I'm, there was nothing in the box that I was super excited. I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to get my box. Um, in both of the boxes, actually. Um, except for maybe the Hourglass Ambient, I think it's the Ambient, um, blush um, which I do have today and it's very it gives you this subtle glow with a bit of color and I love it and I know in the video I said I would prefer it to be a little deeper um, like a little bit mauve -y. however the color is amazing you guys it hasn't faded it looks great and I'm liking it a lot um, there was something else I think in that box that I received that if I'm not mistaken, um, I also enjoy it very much and I have it here with me and I'm enjoying it so far. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is that um, Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Like I showed in my video, um, it's not that, uh, what color was it? I think I was seeing some peachy, orangey kind of color. Um, it's more of a pink tone. Uh, sorry, I have the light on because you see, um, it's more of a pink than an orangey color that I've seen so far. It is a very fine mist, ultra fine mist. So you don't feel, even though, even though you overspray yourself, you don't feel it as if it's, um, if you oversprayed it, like you're so wet, you know, you feel just refreshed. It doesn't look super watered down or anything. It actually helps you like with your makeup and I love it. I'm actually, honestly, this is one of the, products that I am looking forward to, forward to repurchasing. Why can I say purchase? Repurchasing it? There you go. See, so actually, you know, I'm hooked on this now. So I'm going to need a backup for this. But we're all here for BoxyCharm. So let's open it up. I was able to use my pen here to rip it open. And like you guys can see, it's a red one. And it's still the same theme. Um, it's still Adore. 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 Um, and it's still the same little pop-up little thing that explains to you everything that's inside. And they're telling, they're um, explaining that for Boxy Lux, if you are a member of this box, you can also subscribe to the Boxy Lux, which they, they're letting you know that these are the products that are going to be three out of the nine. I think, believe they're nine products, um, eight to nine, um, for sure products that you will receive in that box, in that box right here, a tart palette, a P PMD, like one of those brushes that you wash your face and a NARS liquid lipstick, or I think it's a liquid, no, it's a, Ma a NARS power matte lip pigment it's still liquid lips but it's softer i'm guessing um oh the variation that i got in my box uh number 47 sorry the light went down um number 47 if you guys can see it right there can you see it no you can't see it um but i got number 47 oh so sorry i'm in my car again and i have number 47 so i'm gonna do this brief there's not a lot of products in here that I would see. I don't want to look inside the list just to be surprised. So before even looking at it, I am touching something and I'm getting... Oh, okay. This is the Kate Somerville Skin Healing... Skin Health Experts. Now, I know that if you didn't choose the palette, I think the Iconic... I think Iconic Icon palette, um, which looked very beautiful, but I have been receiving a lot of... Um, a lot of palettes and I do have and owned and repurchased aside from BoxyCharm a lot of eyeshadow palettes and that is one that they look amazing I'm not gonna lie I was a little um 
leaning towards purchasing it when I um, boxy pop up show, um, appeared, and I was like, you know what, no. Um, even though it was, you, you did, I think I did get it for cheaper than what it's retail for. Like I think it was retail sixty dollars. Um, I think we were getting for less than twenty. However, those are colors that they are beautiful, but won't show that much on my skin tone even though i'm not super dark but i'm medium tone skin and those are cool tone i'm more into warm tone kind of color so i was like you know what very beautiful but i know that i might get a use out of all those shadows which they look all beautiful maybe five and those same colors i can find in another palette that's why i decided to get this one and also in Foxy Pop-Up, I wanted to repurchase this again. Um, just because I love skincare. I love anything with serums. I love serums. And I wasn't able to because they sold out. And you know what? It is what it is. I was able to purchase some kind of a couple of items. But not the, the serum. It feels heavy. Um, I love glass bottles. And it is a glass bottle. And it is... It looks amazing. Um, this one didn't come with a seal or anything like that. But look at it, you guys. It is a little thicker because it is a serum it's not it's a little thicker than an oil um, but they work the same and I'm actually excited to use this right now I won't use it because I already have like I stated in my other video I do have a routine kind of going on I don't want to disrupt it just yet I just started it um, but when I do I will introduce this new item here and see how that helps and benefits my skin if you guys can um, understand but I'm super excited for this one this is one that I picked and I'm so glad that I did receive it help because when I selected my item um, I did not receive a confirmation. I received a confirmation for the premium, which was the flat iron, which I use today. And it looks pretty good. I didn't want to put too much heat, but it did the work like a flat iron does. Um, but for this one, since I selected it, I did not receive a confirmation, but I'm so glad that I did get it. Um, but regardless, if I wouldn't have gotten it or the eyeshadow, I would have been happy with either both, um, with either or. Um, this one, the, oh yeah, I forgot, I got like to look, the Kate Somerville, um, XKX Active Concentrates Bio Mimicking Peptide Serum, well, wow, that's a long name, retails for $90, you guys, that's, that's, that's expensive, skincare is expensive. Okay, the next product is from Cuban, 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 Queen, I don't know how you guys say it, Cuban. Cubine. Um, I might be butchering the name, but we have received, or at least I have received this item in another box with it in a different color. Um, the color that I got is wifey. Yes. Uh, these are the kind of colors that I gravitate, gravitate towards. Um, look, this is the one I have it here that I had got last time. And I was like, Oh, okay. I like it. And I like it. It's beautiful. It's a pretty color. Um, this color is in thick skin which is like kind of like an orangey nude kind of color which is good but colors that are mauvey like the one I have on and this one will look great on me I love it you put it on it's very pigmented however it is a bit drying I'm not gonna lie it is a bit drying oh he can open this up um so yes I'm very excited that I got another one just because the formulation it just needs a little you see the different ones I'm actually excited to use this one. These are like the colors that I rotate towards. Um, but it could be better. So that way it's a more creamy instead of dry. Because when I wear this one, I notice that I get the color right around my lips and it still stays. However, whilst I'm ta while I'm talking, sipping my coffee at work or drinking water, I do see that it starts fading away around the inner corners of my mouth. And then when I start doing this, just so I can like you know smooth it out because you could do that with the lipstick it, it feels like if it's separating and it's pulling so it's kind of like hard there so you just you feel that it's it accumulating there it's not the greatest feeling you could always put a lip a lipstick over it or a gloss and that would make it smooth out even more because I have tried it with the gloss and I tried it I think with the um, Urban Decay one it works wonders so I'm not I'm not shading it. I'm not saying anything bad. I'm I really do like this one. And like I said, this is a product, a brand that I wouldn't have normally gone and get and got it if not if it weren't for the boxy charm. So I'm actually excited for those two. And that liquid lipstick retails for 
Matte liquid lip stain. Oh, it's a lip stain. No, it's not lip stain. Lip satin. That's no, not satin. It's not. I, um, it's satin when you're putting it on, so it's a little softer. It is if you feel it, but once it's dry down, it's not. And I, I know that satin would be almost like, you know, one that it does feel a little bit more satiny one are the Tarte ones. And, and even the NARS the NARS satin one that we're going to receive, this NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment, that does feel a little bit more satin. -y. This one doesn't. At first it does, and then it dries down, and it's complicated in the inner corner. But other than that, I mean, I'm liking it. And that one retails for $17. It's a bit pricey. I don't know if I would actually normally buy it because it looks like one of those honestly to be on to be quite honest the packaging is nice but it looks like one of those lipsticks that you could get for five dollars that's just my opinion might be right might be wrong but i got it in my box the next thing which i just saw oh man it ripped it's okay i'm not i mean the packaging looks really cool but i mean i'm eventually gonna throw this out so I don't mind that that's like this oh wow the packaging is beautiful this is a pretty vulgar i think mascara yes in flux reels fox reels it's just a number 149 black swan it's a black mascara it looks really pretty um i could open it up for you guys so you guys can see the wand pretty nice wand if you guys can see it pretty nice wand i like these kind of wands um i'm actually excited because i need another mascara i'm kind of running low on the one that i have and this is beautiful packaging i don't know if you guys can see it maybe the light very beautiful packaging and this one retails for this is extreme volume mascara so i'm really excited for that 23 dollars, you guys and mascaras tend to be pricey so yeah 23 dollars. the next thing that i see here is the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. Um, I know, like I said, mentioned in my other previous video, there is some controversy. Oh, controversy, maybe. Um, what would I call it? Wait. Some concerns regarding this brand. I know it was Ciate London. It was um, the first Sally one. It was the Too Faced Mascara that I've kind of noticed. What else was there? And even, and even, sorry. And even, um, which one else? I think even the, like the, the that um, moisturizer that I just received, which I started looking towards it and I couldn't, um, sorry. Couldn't really find, um, what was it? I couldn't really find the reason or what it was. It was something that I'm trying to look for that moist 24K foil, gold foil moisturizer, which I was like, okay, you know what's going on. Um, but I did come across a video. I wasn't able to see it, but I, I'm, I'm intrigued to see it because I don't want to put something in my face that can possibly be harmful from what I saw. It might not be. I'm just, you know, that's just something that I just scrolled and saw. But I, I need to dig into it more. But it's still staying in this box. Um, and I know that with Seattle, and, I mean, it's beautiful packaging, you guys. It's very beautiful. You know, you have a setting powder, which is really white. And I'm guessing it's like a maybe, it says a translucent. It doesn't say translucent. Um, it says coconut setting powder. Uh, it says made in Taiwan. This says made in Taiwan, um, and it doesn't say made in China, and it does not say what kind of, it says batch code 459, I don't know, um, it, but it doesn't state the, the ingredients. However, the box over here, the box says, because I know that's what a lot of people are, 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 are stating, they're like, wait, one thing says one thing and the other says another thing. Um, this one just says ingredients. It says talc. The first ingredient is talc. Then mica. Then silica. Then dimethicone or mythicane. And fer phenyl and all those other products. Iron oxides and 
Benzel, Benzel Tate. And it does say made in Taiwan. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe the talc thing was the problem. It is very white and it's a setting powder. So, it's, I don't know how this would work on me. Um, it just says, um, apply generously to areas with concealer to bake and set makeup. Leave for three to five minutes and sweep off with ex uh, the excess with for a creaseless free soft focus finish lightly dust oil prone areas using a large fluffy brush for a soft touch matte finish i don't bake i don't i don't find the purpose for baking just because i know that my under eye area is not as oily as my t-zone if i were to bake it would crease even more um, my fine lines will show more or my crease lines I don't have that a lot but I do have crease lines underneath my eyes if I were to bake that would make it look even more cakey if that would make sense and it would just look a mess I don't bake I just set a little bit around it and that's it um, I'll see how that works because it is really white um, this one retails for $22 it's an everyday baking kind of setting powder. So I'm guessing you don't have to bake. You could bake. I mean, I don't know how that would work out. I mean, if you're a darker complexion, that is really white. So just be careful. And our last product in the box are these brushes. These brush brushes are the Pretty Vulgar Fox Real... No, no, wait. I'm reading the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> these are the Alamar Cosmetics Complexion Brush Trio. This is a vegan and cruelty three-piece brush set the brush set that comes complete with a complexion brush a bronzer br brush and a brightening brightening blush uh, brush suitable for all skin types revealing a flawless finish and these retail for 36 dollars um i hope it says which one is for what because uh, maybe when i open them they look pretty good they have a, a weight to them so they're kind of cool I mean, it's kind of cool um so they're really pretty. Oh, oh. So I'm guessing this is like a brightening brush. This is, oh my God, they're so soft, you guys. They're so soft. Look, they're super soft. I like it. I'm loving it. I'm loving them. And they do have a weight to them. They're not that flimsy, which I love. I, I don't like flimsy brushes. I think we got some, I believe what month and I could barely move it like it was so so super soft that I couldn't I'm like what I think this one is yeah it's just this Alamar oh they're a complexion brush it does say it. the complexion brush ah, okay I see you and this one is the bronzer brush just for bronzer oh my god yay I'm loving it so yes this is all very beautiful I'm actually excited and I know that if you didn't get the brushes, did I say the price of the brushes? I don't know, but if I if I didn't, I'll just say it again, it's $36. Um, if you guys didn't get the these brushes, you guys were gonna get sponges. I think the sponges retailed for $40. I think that's what I kinda heard. Um, which I'm happy, I do have brush, um, sponges already, and brushes I can never have enough. Um, and I'm super excited that I did get these. Um, overall, I like my box. Um, I haven't tried this. I will give it a try, a go. I will try all of these products. Honestly, I wasn't super excited, but I'm not mad at it. I love the box. I think it's a great value for what you get. You are getting a lot of products for $25 or $28. So I think that's a steal in itself. If you guys want to give it a try, go right ahead and subscribe. And I know that your first box or your first... Um, um, subscription of the box you do get an additional item that you can select oh it's cool um so sorry my light went off um but thank you so much for watching i know that there's some things are gonna start rising and you guys are gonna be able to de um determine whether you guys want to subscribe or not um overall i have been personally happy there have been some times where i'm like okay you know what this product i didn't like it these other products i didn't why are you sending me products that i'm not liking that are not being shown and i know there's different variations but nothing from my box from those items that you showed i received and you guys are not showing the different variations that you can get they do show some clips but they don't show 
every single one like you guys saw this is variation 47 you guys 47 so there are different variations out there at least 47 of them that have different products that are not all going to have the same thing and you know what if you are advertising I'm sorry, but if you are advertising most of the items there because that's why you want people to subscribe, you are false advertising in a way. Um, this is why I say this. If you are saying, oh my God, these are the three sneak peeks that you are going to actually receive, which is this super nice highlighter from a very high-end makeup brand, and then you have a nice shadow palette, and then you have a lipstick or a highlighter, and you're advertising, 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 come the month and I receive my box and I don't get any of the items that you keep repeatedly advertising, then I'm going to be upset. You're not going to have a nice um, customer you are going to have someone who will be complaining to customer service or the boxy charm team and things will happen just you know be like at least say a little bit more you know there are different variations show different variations of boxes that can only always help and it would be better for the brand for you guys for promotions for customers so you're like okay this month i am going to show you this sneak peek and i'm gonna show you another sneak peek because you guys are, you guys show products that are not even mentioned they are i mean i know that <laughs> the boxy charm team might not be watching my video but you guys are so you guys can um people that want come across my video you guys are aware that you know not everything that's advertised is what you're going to get in your box and i'm actually happy i know they didn't advertise that much the mascara at least i don't think I, I i saw it or the setting powder but overall i'm happy with my box and i think that it was worth the 25 well 28 and some change dollars that i paid for my box um because who wouldn't want another skincare item a couple of makeup um items and brushes and just increase your collection and if you don't like it then you have a chance to cancel for the next month but i know a lot of you guys don't want to cancel because for next month depending what you're getting you're getting something better so i mean it's always up to you guys i enjoy my box you might not tell me in the description down below what do you think if you think this subscription has been working for you if it hasn't let me know down below thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have a blessed day happy valentine's to everyone because i am um, making this video on valentine's day um i was just surprised with flowers on um at my office for my husband and i'm super excited and it was so amazing um he surprises me but this is the first time he does it at work so it was great um but Yet again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.